Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions with one variable. Now, when we evaluate an expression, we find the value of the expression, so what it equals once we work through it. For our examples, we are going to evaluate the expressions when m equals 4. Let's jump into number 1, where we have 2 next to parentheses that include 3m minus 5. Now, whenever we have a number next to a variable, like 3m, that means they're being multiplied. So we have 3 times m. And then we also have the 2 next to the parentheses. So that means we have 2 times whatever we get within those parentheses. The first thing that we need to do is replace or plug in the given value for the variable. This is called substitution. So let's plug in 4 for m and rewrite this expression. So we have 2 parentheses, and remember this means 2 times whatever we get within the parentheses, 3m, which means 3 times m, so 3 times, and then m equals 4, so plug that 4 in, minus 5, end parentheses. Now we are ready to evaluate, so let's figure out what this equals. Since we have more than one operation, we need to use the order of operations, PEMDAS, to work through this. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, so that's our priority. Now we have multiplication and subtraction within those parentheses. Multiplication comes before subtraction, so let's start with 3 times 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. Bring down everything we did not use, so the subtraction sign, the 5, the parentheses, and the 2. We still have subtraction within the parentheses, so let's do 12 minus 5 next, which equals 7. I will keep 7 within parentheses and bring down the 2 we did not use. So we have a 2 next to a 7 in parentheses. That means we are multiplying, so we end with 2 times 7, which equals 14. The value of this expression is 14 when m equals 4. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 10m plus 32 over m. Now we have one variable, m, but it's in two places. So when we plug in, we need to make sure we plug in that value for m in both of those places. For this expression, we have a number next to a variable, so we are multiplying here. We have 10 times m, and then we have a fraction. We have 32 over m. That means we are dividing. We have 32 divided by m. Let's plug in and evaluate. So we have 10 times m, which equals 4, so plug in 4 for m, plus 32 over m, or 32 divided by m. Again, m equals 4, so plug in 4 there as well. Now we can evaluate, so let's figure out what this equals. We have multiplication, addition, and division. We don't have any parentheses. We don't have any exponents. Again, we have multiplication and division, so that's where we are going to start. Multiplication and division come before addition. Well, we have both. So what we do, we work our way from left to right. We start with whatever comes first. So let's do 10 times 4 first. 10 times 4 is 40. Bring down everything we did not use, so the addition sign, and then the 32 divided by 4. So now we have addition and division. Division comes before addition. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Bring down the addition sign and the 40. We end with 40 plus 8. 40 plus 8 equals 48. The value of this expression is 48 when m equals 4. So there you have it. There's how you evaluate expressions with one variable. 
I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.